Today our, we are going to discuss the topic of arteriosclerosis, right? What is really the meaning of arteriosclerosis? Arteriosclerosis means hardening of arteries, means hardening of of arteries, hardening of arteries with loss of elasticity, loss of elasticity. It's a general term, arteriosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis means hardening of the arteries with loss of elasticity. Now, there are different types of arteriosclerosis. Right? Broadly speaking, we can divide it into three categories. Right? The most number one is Monkeyberg, Monkeyberg medial calcific sclerosis. Monkeyberg, Monkeyberg medial calcific sclerosis which is a benign condition not dangerous right second is the really dangerous condition that is atherosclerosis atherosclerosis you know atherosclerosis related complications are the number one cause of death in the western world atherosclerosis is such an important clinical pathological condition which involves the arteries right that almost 50 percent of the death in the western world is related with the complications with the atherosclerosis right and third condition which is worth mentioning is arteriolosclerosis it is smaller vessels arteriolosclerosis now first of all i will discuss all three of them very briefly so that you can differentiate them from each other and then we'll go into really big detail of atherosclerosis right so first of all the most benign condition if you really want to have any one of these pray for this one this is the best to have right why because in monkey bug medial calcific sclerosis what really happens that in the medium sized arteries there's a problem involving the medium sized medium sized arteries right like radial artery, ulnar artery, common example the radial arteries or ulnar arteries, there is involvement of media. You know, vessels have three layers there is intima, innermost layer, intima, and under the intima, there is, yes, please, there is media, which consists of smooth muscles and some elastic tissue in elastic arteries and medium sized arteries mainly smooth muscles right so this is media and then under the media outside the media there is adventitia outside the media there is adventitia this is the medium sized artery fine and the problem, what really happens in monkey bug medial calcific, calcific sclerosis, there are patches of calcification, there are patches of calcification in the media, the patches of calcification in the media, but the point which you have to remember is, that this medial calcification does not encroach on the antima. It does not obstruct the lumen. The point which you have to remember is that this medial calcification, which is usually age related, 
it's more commonly seen in the men who are more than 50 year old right more than 50 year old men right and usually ulnar artery or radial artery or some other medium sized artery has a media which is heavily calcified right this is a calcific disease this is a disease of media it is not a disease of intima because later on we will talk about atherosclerosis which is primarily a disease of intima this is primarily a disease of media right in atherosclerosis there are fibro fatty plaque in the intima there are fibro fatty plaques in intima here in the media we have areas of heavy calcification but this calcification does not disrupt the intima significantly due to that reason there are no dangerous complication in the lumen right and the only importance is that such vessels may be palpable is that right they may be well palpable for example if you're this part of radial artery where you feel the pulse that is heavily cal calcified of course you you may not feel the pulse well but you may find that there is a stiff pipe is that right and how do you check you occlude the what is this artery brachial artery and still you will find that even though you, when you occlude the brachial artery you cannot feel the pulse but you still palpate the wall of the radial artery which can be rolled under your fingers is that right it is not a dangerous condition again and again i'm repeating it right and sometimes if you take an x-ray on the x-ray uh, you may find multiple calcified patches along the line of the artery is that right and that's all about it so whenever if you have a choice you have to go for this one but usually we are not so lucky to choose which condition we want to have right so just the only importance is this monkey bug medial calcisclerosis it should not be confused with atherosclerosis atherosclerosis is a very bad condition it is really very benign condition is that right atherosclerosis is a intimal condition this is a medial condition in atherosclerosis in the intima they are fibro fatty plaque here in the media they are calcific area the atherosclerosis involve different arteries and usually spares the upper limb vessels arteries but monkey bug medial sclerosis loves to involve the upper limb arteries especially ulnar or radial right this has lot of complications lot of morbidity and mortality is associated with atherosclerosis but there's no significant morbidity or mortality associated with monkey bug medial calcific sclerosis is that clear now we just compare and contrast this condition with atherosclerosis and let's see what is atherosclerosis atherosclerosis is really the very very bad pathological condition you know how bad is it that it is the number the complications related with atherosclerosis are the number one killer in the western world they say 50 percent of the western people die of atherosclerosis related complications like ischemic heart disease myocardial infarction right or stroke that is so important isn't it now there are other complications as well right now what i want to stress in your mind that this is a disease of yes media or intima this is a disease of intima if someone doesn't know this thing he's a very poor guy as far as medical science is concerned that atherosclerosis is a disease of intima right in which and there is formation of fibro fatty plaques in intima is that right let me make one let's suppose this is a vessel this is the intima right and here is media here is media of the vessel now atherosclerosis involve elastic arteries and medium sized muscular arteries elastic arteries mean which are the elastic arteries write it down elastic arteries are aortic arteries carotid artery aortic artery carotid arteries and iliac arteries these are the classical example of yes please these are the classical examples of elastic arteries is that right and medium sized muscular arteries are like coronary arteries like popliteal arteries right circle of villus arteries and other vessels which are 
arterial system which has same size. Now, what you have to understand that actually intima and media are separated by what is this internal elastic lamina what is this internal elastic lamina and media and adventitia are separated by what is this external elastic lamina right this is internal elastic lamina and what is this it is external elastic lamina is that right now and of course outside the external elastic lamina what is this yes connective tissue layer outside the vessel media right and this is your what is this please advent tissue now actually this is the fibro fatty plaque I will go into detail later that it consists of what type of cells and what type of material but for a while you just trust me that within the intima there is deposition of yes fibro fatty material right and this fibro fatty material which accumulates in the intima of elastic arteries and medium sized muscular artery this make a protrusion in the yes in the lumen and may obstruct the lumen and at the same time it may lead to secondary degenerative changes in media right this fibro fatty plaque of the intima may lead to secondary degenerative changes in media but primarily okay then I can just to show you the secondary changes that we can see that here elastic lamina is somewhat disrupted and this uh, fibro fatty plaque is really pressing on the media and some media is degenerated over here right some media is degenerated over there so again atherosclerosis and intimal disease characterized by formation of fibro fatty plaques in intima is that right and it secondarily lead to degeneration of media as well as it occludes the vessels if, if they are smaller vessels, usually, if they are smaller vessels, then usually due to complications related with atherosclerotic plaque, smaller vessel undergo occlusions. But if it is large vessel like aorta, right, due to complications related with the atherosclerosis and medial degeneration, larger vessel undergo ballooning effect, aneurysmal dilatation. So today onward you have to remember a very basic thing. Atherosclerosis when it involves smaller size vessel, it tend to occlude the lumen and when it involves larger size vessel, it tend to weaken the media and make, of course you cannot occlude the aorta easily, but atherosclerotic lesions in aortic intima can lead to degeneration of aortic media and pressure in aorta is so high that aorta will balloon out and the complication is aneurysmal dilatation, the complication is aneurysmal dilatation dilation is that right 